वेलकम टू द शंबा शिप अप सफारी In Kenya, over 15,000 deaths each year are attributed to household air pollution or smoke. Collecting firewood is difficult and takes a lot of your everyday time, leaving you with charcoal as maybe the only option. But it's very expensive. To help solve the smoke issue and save money, a modern improved stove is a solution. Let's hear from Agnes, also known as Jikoni Magic on social media, to learn more about how the electric pressure cooker works. Agnes, very nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Like I told you, I'm in a bit of a dilemma. Yeah. You see, Caro has challenged me. Yeah. She thinks I can't cook, and I want to show her that I can cook for her and the team. Mm -hmm. And they are cooking something different. I think it's chapati, is a bit of banjias, you know, so some very nice food. Uh -huh. And I said I can make a stew. Oh. And I can see you're all set here yeah. with this amazing cooker. This is an electric pressure cooker. Now the electric pressure cooker, the advantages are it cooks your food much shorter time than ordinarily uh, it would take. <sighs> then the consumption of electricity is also very, very low. It is a very clean gadget to use. Electricity has no fumes, so when you use it, you don't get uh, respiratory problems. Mm -hmm. You can also leave your food overnight in it. Like if you have uh, something like kuku kienyeji, you just throw all your ingredients in there, cover it, turn on the slow cooker. When you wake up in the morning, your house is smelling fantastic. So, What if I'm cooking and I'm all set to eat, then there is a power cut? Mm -hmm. What do, that, do my food get spoiled? So it mm. depends on how far your food had gone. If it was almost cooking, if it had like 20 minutes remaining to eat, you don't need to worry. It mm. will finish cooking with the heat that's been retained in there. How yeah. about safety? Mm -hmm. It's absolutely safe, right? So if I can just demonstrate to you, there is uh, this pin over here. Once the pressure inside here has built, this pin pops up. So once it pops up, it means that this um, lid cannot be opened. So if you have children running around in the house, it means um, they cannot open this. Or even if it falls, it won't burst open. So it will still be intact. Mm -hmm. And then also as it warms up, as it gets to pressure, it gets to the maximum temperature. When you touch it, it's very well insulated. So you don't burn. Mm -hmm. It will just have some warmth, but not enough to scald you. Okay, yes. sounds impressive. Yeah. I think now you can tell us what you're going to cook today. Yes, so today on the menu we have goat that is a kilo and it's on bone. So we are making goat stew. Yes, always try and get meat that is on bone because it will add more flavor when the soup. bone marrow gets into the ah. soup. Yeah, it, it infuses flavor. We will start by plugging in our cable yes. and turning on our pressure cooker. Okay, so we are going to start by sauteing. So to saute, we, we go to function number five. And to set that one, we start with the menu and then we go all the way plus, plus, plus up to number five. I'm going to add the oil in there. We will start doing the, the onions. Mm. Okay. And we will also add the curry powder. So what we want is for the onions to soften and turn translucent. So you can see our onion is proceeding on very well. Mm. The next thing that I'm going to add is the turmeric, just a bit. And I'm also going to add the ginger and garlic. So I will let this go for just maybe a minute or two. Wow, it's going on well. Right now we are ready to add the tomatoes. Okay, let me do and the we are also going to add the meat at this point. Okay, so now it's when you'll go ahead and stir that. Stir the pot? Yes, everything that is at the bottom, try and bring it up. And I'm also going to add some salt for you. After that, we will just add very, very little water just to help the steam to build up. After you've added the water, you've stirred everything, the next thing you're going to do is to cover. Then come and turn your venting valve at the back towards the sealed position okay 
and we are going to change from saute to now pressure cooking. Mm. Yeah, so now it's already locked itself in number one, which is the meat function. So all you do is you sit back and relax. With our free time, we decided to do a test to compare the cheapest way of boiling yellow beans. They had been soaked overnight. The normal cost of boiling yellow beans with charcoal is 36 shillings. To boil with an electric hot plate is 35 shillings. To boil with gas or LPG is 34 shillings. And boiling with kerosene is 25 shillings. But boiling with the electric pressure cooker costs just five shillings. Wow, what a saving. So our food is done. Before we see what we have, we have two options. You can wait for everything to cool down. We call it the natural release. Then the pin will drop down. Mm -hmm. Or you can actually go and do a quick manual release. Let's do it. Higher. Our pin has dropped. Yes. Now it is safe to open the lid. Okay. Ah. Now we are not done. We still have some more to add. Yes. So we are going to add half the contents of this coconut cream. Okay. Cook the coconut cream for about two, three minutes yes. because coconut cream does not take long to cook. Mm -hmm. And to finish it off, we will just throw in coriander. That way we are going to retain most of its flavor at ah. the end of it. And how much electricity do you think we used? Let's check how much money we spent. Nine shillings. Caro will be so impressed. And let's not forget, the food tastes great as well. Mm. Mm. Delicious. This electric pressure cooker could save over 90% of your cooking costs and 75% of the time it normally takes to cook. It doesn't give off harmful fumes, it doesn't even release cooking smells. What's not to like? Can't wait to tell Caro all about this. Speaking of Caro, here she comes. I think she smells the aroma of my stew here. And what goods have you brought for us? These will go down very well with my stew. Looks very good. Ant Antonio, it looks good, eh? Impressive, isn't it? <laughs> I've worked so hard for this. Look at that stew. Look, just, just look at it. Tony, Tony, there. Tony, stop. What? You and me know you didn't do that. I, I, I did this. Ah, 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 Tony, own up. Why do I have a feeling Agnes was here? Yeah, own up, yeah, own up. Agnes. I told, I told you, I told you we'd pull up something like this. Antonio. Huh? But I'm sure you helped, yeah? Yeah, I helped, I helped, I helped, yeah. Antonio, what do you have for us? We got the chapati from the sweet potato. Mm -hmm. We got the mahamri and then we got the bajia there. Wow. wow. Shall we dig in? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Pick up, we got the chapati there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's nice. Yes. Tony, I think we should do more of this. Eat more. Even the cameraman loves it too. That's all we have for you this week. Let's catch up again on the next Shamba. Thank you.